Welcome back guys. So today we're going to discuss something rich and classy. Today, we are going to witness an epic battle between a $1 million mansion and a $1 billion mansion. So without any further delay, let's get started quickly. A $1 million home in India may appear to be comfortable, be that as it may. How can it contrast with India's most costly home, a billion dollar 27 story chateau with its own helipad? Obviously, you will get less extravagance highlights in a $1 million house. The costliest home in India and the world's priciest private home at any point blows that cost directly out of the water situated in Mumbai and Thlia is a high-rise like chateau assessed to be worth among one and two billion dollars. The 40,000 square foot home has 27 stories and is 570 feet tall, which is comparable to generally 50 to 60 story structures. The chateau highlights three helipads, a 50 seat film theater and six stories. This elegant house is under the possession of Mukesh Ambani, administrator of dependence businesses and the most extravagant individual in India. The UK's costliest property is a lot less private, yet it is a real spot. Buckingham Palace in London is assessed to be valued at $1.55 billion, and at the point when you incorporate all the significant furniture and workmanship inside Sovereign Elizabeth's home, may be worth more than Antelia. The royal residence has 775 rooms, which includes 52 rooms for the royals and their visitors, 188 rooms for staff, 78 washrooms and 92 workplaces. There are likewise 19 staterooms counting a music room royal chamber, an assembly hall in addition to castle plants that cover more than 40 sections of land. The White House is assessed to be worth about $410 million in the event that we jump over to the US. We can track down a heartfelt Spanish cottage with old Hollywood appeal in Los Angeles for $999,000. The home has wood bar roofs, wood flooring, French entryways, a chimney, two rooms, and one restroom. Sure, there's no rambling yard with a pool, yet there are little planting regions. What's more, a charming outdoor wellspring you will not track down in any billion dollar homes close by. However, you will discover this is a $500 million chateau in Bel Air. How epic does a house need to be to acquire that moniker? Well, the 100,000 square foot chateau includes a dance club, four pools, a bowling alley, and 360 degree perspectives on dazzling Southern California, which seems more than enough to acquire its fabulous standing. Italy's costliest home. This $150 million manor named Villa Pasalacqua worked during the 1800s. This 26, 501 square foot house has manicured gardens, 11 wellsprings, a pool, and lake access. Underneath the fundamental house are 11,000 square feet of extraordinary mausoleums and passages that lead down a secret course to a private marina and Lake Como. The home is simply dribbling in inestimable history, unique moldings, hand-painted subtleties, and collectibles to ensure not an inch of it is exhausting. You can likewise make a very decent benefit off of this epic area. It's been perceived as a public landmark of Italy, which has made it a truly well-known spot for occasions like weddings and functions. For $1 million in Dubai, you could live in this two-room loft offering more than 2,000 square feet. The loft accompanies a gallery where you can take in both city and water view. It's additionally a fabrication packed with conveniences like a rec center, slice yoga studio, swimming pool, and structure close to the seashore. Atlantis Lodging is only one of the island's most costly structures that cost more than $1.5 billion. Yet, with regards to private homes, this is the costliest estate ever sold on the island. A $55 million beachfront castle, it has 11 rooms and 16 restrooms in addition to private seashores. A home like this would be way costlier in the US, so it's in reality a very decent arrangement on the off chance that you need to live on perhaps the most extravagant islands on the planet presently. We as a whole realize that the New York City housing business sector can get pretty costly. This one room, one washroom apartment suite in Manhattan costs $999,000. It is equipped with large windows that offer heaps of light furthermore. The structure offers a housetop deck, rec center, and game room. So in any event you're getting something for that cash, yet the costliest loft in the city is this $230 million penthouse in one of the city's most luxury structures. This 220 Focal Standard South which sold $1.52 billion worth of condos in 2019. It's claimed by a very rich person, Ken Griffin. However, no photos of its inside have at any point been distributed. Rather, we can get a thought of its richness 
from these units in a similar structure, which lease for up to $99,000 each month. Concerning the costliest home in New York, it's really in the Hamptons in spite of the fact that we're simply ready to get a look at its lavishness. This rambling bequest possessed by tycoon Ira Renert was purchased for $238 million back in 2015. However, it is currently assessed to be worth $500 million. That is a large portion of a billion dollars. Its highlights incorporate a bowling alley, a 164-seat cinema, and more than two dozen rooms and washrooms. At any point, if you're wondering what reason does the US have so numerous costly homes? Well, for one thing, it's one of the nations with the most tycoons, but at the same time, it's the country where tycoons have the most elevated joint riches on the planet. More than 600 US tycoons are worth more than $2.9 trillion altogether. We got to say, that's pretty impressive. So both million dollar and billion dollar mansions have their perks. We suggest you buy the one you can afford. So, that was all for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed it and make sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comment section.